Okay, folks, welcome to Best Stock Charts for the new trading week. This is Bob Desmond, and it is December the 27th, 2020. I hope everyone had a really fantastic Christmas. Mine was really wonderful. And what we're going to talk about uh, this week on our final Best Stock Charts of the year, and Happy New Year to everybody in advance. Uh, what we're going to talk about today are some symbols, Whirlpool, WHR, GWW, that's WW Granger, New Skin, NUS the symbol, Pulte Group, a home builder, and St. Joe. Now, St. Joe is going to be a short. We're going to talk more about this chart in a moment. So before we begin, a couple of reminders. A, please smash that like button. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Two, and in our ongoing struggle to provide value to our viewers, we need to pay the bills. So this episode is sponsored by Trend Spider. Trend Spider is the next generation of automated technical analysis, whether you want scanning functionality, charting functionality, insights, using non-technical analysis, visualized for even the amateur investor. Examples are back testing, roughly 27 years worth of historical data. That's a lot. Strategy testing, as well as alerts. I use the alerts all the time. It takes the impulse buying or selling out of trading and allows you to trade with a rules-based approach using alerts and you'll be seeing me set up a couple of them today so stick around and by the way they have a 50 percent off holiday special right here right now so use that link below to get access to trend spider don't use that discount code that i normally get 35 percent off on they're providing you 50 percent off today simply use the link below and you are good to go i believe in it so much that i include it free to our silver and gold level members, here you can see it, Trend Spider. Now let's get to our best stock charts for the new trading week. Now I've gone over most of these symbols in greater detail with members on the week ahead commentary. That's posted in the members area and also in our Slack forum. So members, please go over, check it out, the full length version. That's where we review the health of the overall market. How did the indexes close out last week? What do we want to do with our positions as we move into the new trading week, as well as talk about our watch stocks in greater detail and you know what i forgot i need to go back and remind everyone tonight 6 p.m eastern standard time we will be live and we'll be talking about bitcoin and whether it will hit thirty thousand dollars and by 6 p.m tonight it could be there it's ripping right now so be sure to enter your email address below on any one of our email lists you'll get alerted 15 minutes to a half hour prior to us going live or you could set the reminder, but unfortunately, you'll get notified at or shortly after we go live. So let's get to best stock charts. Now, St. Joe, this is a healthy chart, right? And you're going to be shocked to hear what I want to do here. But I want to short St. Joe. Why do I want to do that? It's because we have RSI at current at roughly 90, slightly above. The last trading day was Thursday, an abbreviated day. And you can see that we did not put in a new daily high. And we are trading at a historical basis right at historical resistance so from a risk reward perspective st joe is looking very interesting as a potential short candidate because this is unsustainable we will get a correction here does that mean it can't go higher of course not the trend is clearly to the upside we may be contrarians but we do respect the trend so members we will send out trade alerts when we enter add or exit the st joe trade as we do with all of our trades the next chart up, Whirlpool. A beautiful setup here. This is a weekly chart. And you can see on a weekly time frame when you use the automated trend lines, what a time saver. Artificial intelligence automatically draws the trend lines for you. And you can see that we have been consolidating very nicely at support. We do have a volume shelves below also acting as support. We had a big reversal bar last week. And it appears as though uh, we are going to move up higher from these levels and remember that we have a housing boom underway in the united states so the path of least resistance is clearly the upside for whirlpool one of our favorite trades going into the new trading week the next chart up is gww ww granger this is a weekly chart as well and when you use the automated trend line tool overlaying weekly trend lines with the click of a button you could see that in prior weeks as we've neared resistance above in green and in red we have backed off 
We've backed off all the way down to this lower band of support, which has been acting as, obviously, support. We have two consecutive weeks of the shares holding the support level, and in all probability, we are going to make a go at these resistance levels once again. So from a risk-reward perspective, WW Granger is looking very interesting as a potential long trade into the new trading week. Now, New Skin is our next chart up. This is also a very bullish trade. You can see we have a beautiful consolidation at this volume shelf. And the longer the consolidation, the greater the validation of the breakout. And guess what we did last week? We broke out. Now, when we overlay our automated trend lines, you can see that we have resistance up here at around $60 per share. Uh, very nice reversal bar and a breakout last week. Let's throw up a trend line. And there you have it. There's our breakout weekly time frame. What I would like to see, we're going to set up an alert here. What I'd like to see is a retest of this breakout point. And we'll keep this active for five days. So we have touch bounce off of the breakout point. If this alert fires off and we close above this breakout point, then we will execute on a long trade. We're good to go. Now we set it and forget it. Our last chart up is PHM, Pulte Group. Take note of the W formation on RSI off of the 50 level. Very attractive, no breakout yet, but close. And when you take a look at this chart using the manually drawn trend lines, you can see that we broke out not last week, but the week prior, very close to a retest last week. I also want to set an alert here, touch, bounce, because I love retests. Great risk-reward entry points. And we're good to go. Our alert is set. We set it and forget it. And that is it for this week, folks. Please, don't forget, join us live tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. There's a link below for you to access. Don't forget to enter your email address for a reminder. Also, don't forget the 50% discount off of TrendSpider. Use the link below. And it's also included with our silver and gold level memberships. Everyone have a great remainder of your Sunday. Chat with you tonight. Be well.